about the message titled who is a fool who is a fool i know this message but my look somehow uh you know it, it's somehow rough when you say who is a fool you say ah, what is this man of god trying to say who is the most foolish person on earth who is the most foolish person on earth they have categories they are categorized what does it mean to be a fool somebody who is empty head somebody who who, who, who is not worthy to be a man. Animal is better than him. That's who we call a fool. Animal is better than him. Snail is better than him. The title, who is a fool? What does a foolish mean? You see, in the Bible, the Bible talk about it that you should not call anybody a fool. He said, if you call your brother a fool, you will be in danger of hell. You know, before God can say that someone will be in danger of hell, uh, before he can say that, you should understand that that word is so expensive. That word is so powerful. Fool. When they say somebody is a fool, it is to, you know, you don't have to come into the world at all. When I say you are a foolish man, it means you have to you don't have to, your life is just meaningless, but you are a worthless being. Then who is a fool? There are categories of a fool. There are categories of a foolish man. But there is one that is higher than all of them. But I won't come to the one that is higher first. Let me start from the beginning. A foolish man, I will only talk about two categories. A foolish man. If I talk about a foolish man, I'm also talking about a foolish woman. A foolish man is somebody who came into this world as a neutral grand. I won't talk about, uh, about uh, the spiritual affairs. I'm thinking too about this. A foolish man is somebody who came to this world and used his life to play games and die. He has no destiny. He has no function. He has no children. He has no wife. He has no purpose. He has nothing to live on earth. He just came. He was playing around. He died. That is what I can call a foolish man on earth. But when we talk about the spiritual thing now, we are, there are two categories of a foolish man we have. The first, the, the first foolish man that we have is number one. Number one. The number one foolish person we have is, listen to me very, very well, please. Listen to me very, very well. Is somebody who came to this world. He lived in the money. He woke up in the money. He asked us about a young man. A young man who came into the world and died for him. He asked about Jesus Christ. And he said, please don't preach to me. And he said, I will repent tomorrow. He's, the, he, 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 he's, he's a most foolish man. A foolish man is somebody who hear the gospel. A foolish man is somebody who hear the gospel and he refuse to repent. It's a foolish man. A foolish man is somebody who go to church. He's going to church, but he's a bench woman. He just going there. He is a foolish woman or he's a foolish girl. A foolish person is somebody who hears the things of the spirit and he refuses to act into the word of God. He is a foolish man. But there is one that is more foolish than all. I'm still coming to that area. A foolish man is somebody who thinks that his life is to be smoking cigarette. His life is to be drinking alcohol. Not knowing that he can die at any time. He can die at any time. He's a foolish man. 
A foolish being is a brother who goes around to see the girl. A to see the girl refusing to obey the word of God is a foolish being. A foolish being is somebody, is a guy who is going around a man to an hotel doing prostitute. They sleep with her. They have intercourse with her. It's a foolish being. A foolish being is somebody, is a brother, a brother, a brother, a brother. It's not, he has been going to source. People are looking at him as somebody who is becoming born again, but he knowing his heart that he's not born again. It's a foolish being. If a, a, a foolish being is somebody who is not ready to, or to, to, to listen to the word of God, is not ready to hear the word of God, is a foolish being. But there is one that is more foolish than all. The particular people we are talking about, they are not the most worst foolish person. There is a foolish person, is the most foolish of all. Let me tell you. The most foolish of all people, of all race, is somebody who have known the truth. Is somebody who have heard the word. Is somebody who have understand what is called holiness, and is still refuse to follow it. Is the most worst set of all. Because they are different kind of punishment in hell. They are punishment for those people who did not even understand the Bible, but they are hearing the message, but they don't understand. Their, their own is still a little bit minor. Talking to somebody who has understand the Bible. You understand the Bible, you know the word of God, you should go ahead and masturbate. You understand the Bible, you know the word of God, you see go ahead that God, you, you see get angry and fight people. You are the most foolish of all. It, it, the most foolish of all is somebody who has received salvation and is still toiling around the salvation. The foolish of all. If you look at your Bible, open your Bible to Matthew. Matthew chapter 7. Matthew chapter 7, verses 24. I will read here. He said, Therefore, everyone who hears this word of mine and put them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. You see that? It's not about you coming to heaven and hell every day and hear the word of God. But it's about you putting it into practice. It's not about you studying the Bible every day. He said, I'm a Christian. When they come to your house in the morning, they will see you reading your Bible. When they come to your house in the night, they will see you reading your Bible. Sometimes they will see you praying overnight. But you are not practicing the word of God. You are the most foolish. To know that last song takes place any song for that. You have no sense to tell you that it is the time for you to make restitutions of your way. You have no sense for you to know that it is time for you to prepare yourself for heaven. You have no sense for you to know that it is time for you to go and go to your brother, that your sister that you offended. And says, sister, I am sorry for what I did yesterday. Many of you are too proud that even when you offended your husband, you cannot go and say so. Your pride comes to an end that even though you have offended your husband, you cannot say so. The most foolish thing is somebody who is he has the understanding of the word of God. He hear the word of God every day. He knows the Bible, but he did not follow it. He knows the way of salvation. He knows the way to make heaven. 
He knows the way to avoid hell, but he did not follow it. He's the most foolish of all. I will finish it. He said, let me read again. Matthew chapter 7, verses 24. Let me read again. He said, therefore, everyone who hear this word of mine and put them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. Verse 25, the rain came down, the streams rose, and the wind blew and beat against that house. Yet it did not fall. It cannot fall because that house is built on a rock. Yeah. It did, it did not fall because it had its foundation on the rock. Yeah. Number 26. But everyone who hear this word of mine and does not put them into practice is like a foolish man. Do you hear it? Am I the one that said you are a foolish man if you know the word of God? No. The Bible says it. I'm only preaching it to you to hear it. The Bible said you are a foolish being if you did not be the word of God. But everyone who hears this word of mine and does not put them into practice is like a foolish man who built his house on sand. On sand. The rain came down, the stream rose, and the wind blew and beat against that house, and it fall, it fell with a great crash. You see that? It fell with a great crash. Let me tell you, if you are here today, you are listening to my voice. You know the word of God. Even though people did not tell you the truth, opposed to Peter and Daniel telling you the truth. And yet, you never bother to live your holy life. You never bother to change. You never bother to cry for your sin. I'm so sorry to tell you, you are the foolish being the Bible is talking about. You are worse than a person who is going to hell. If there's something else that, that is prepared for hell, if there's something more dangerous that is prepared for hell, there's a true inside there. The reason I said it is because the people who are in hell fire, they are crying for only five minutes. If you go to hell, you will understand what I'm saying. People who are in hell fire, they are crying and telling God that, God, just give me five minutes. Let me five minutes on earth. And we see our in that five minutes. Oh, God. You will see what I'm going to do for you. Just five minutes. And you are a dear. You have access to life. You have access to internet. You are still living your life like somebody who is totally for corruption. Some of you are still judging and bearing your ring. Some of you, you still have loss inside you. You still have loss over girls, over men. Some of you, your life is still worthless than a sinner. Some of you, you think you are, your dressing is okay, but your, the way you talk is very bad. It's foolishness. I want to tell you that it is time you remove your foolishness from yourself. Listen to me very well. I tell you that time that the most foolish being is somebody who understands the message of God. You know that any touch that is not preaching holiness is going to hell. And your the church you are going to every day, your wife, your, your pastor wife is still wearing, wearing mini skirt. Your pastor wife is still wearing a ring, tondo, small earring. Your pastor wife is still wearing a clue that is not well covered. Your pastor is not preaching heaven and hell. 
and you are still going there, and you know that it's not preaching God's message, and you still go there, you know the message, you know the truth, you are the most foolish being. You are following a wolf that is going to lead you to hell instead of to quit out of the church. And when the pastor said that, sister, why are you leaving the church? He said, bro, you said, pastor, you are not from God. And he said, why do you say that? Because you are not preaching God's message. He said, what is God's message? The God message is for you to prepare people for rapture. I said, I'm, I'm doing that now, but you, are, you refuse to, de to tell the people you deny the truth. It's supposed to be your pastor, your pastor, pastor. If you have not been putting yourself in the bondage of foolishness, you're supposed to have been a pastor of your pastor. In the sense of when your pastor asks you why you are not doing this, you tell you preach the word of God to your pastor. How is your life? Most of you are still following pastors who are preachers, sugar-coated, sugar-coated messages on YouTube, on online. You know that the way of his life is not in accordance to the word of God. You see him. You know who are seeking for him. That people who are seeking for him, they are not living only life. You know the touch he is. You know people who are following him that they are not holding only life. And you still go ahead and listen to his messages. You should take him as your pastor. You are one of the foolishness we are talking about. The worst of all is you still support them with your, with your money, with your finances. Somebody who is preparing people for hell. The, the pastor was talking to me one day and he said that, ah, we thank God that uh, we know the truth. And I said, do you know the foolish person? My wife, I was talking with my wife. I said, do you know the foolish person? He said, who is the foolish person? I think the foolish person is the, the most person that you're supposed to be crying for. That even if you see her or you see him, you should be crying and, and be, oh God, <laughs> ah, this person now, ah. you're supposed to be crying for him or her. Ah, the Lord, ah, ah, this person, ah, ah. Is somebody who is, who believes that he's safe. Somebody who believes that he's born again. And to God, he's not born again. Somebody who believes that he is saved and his name is not written in the book of life is the most worst of all. Are you here? Are you here? Somebody who believes he is saved. Somebody who thinks in his mind that he is saved. But to God, God is seen as unbeliever. He's supposed to be crying for that person. <laughs> You be crying for that person because that person's life is more, is more worthless than a sinner outside there. You know where somebody believes that he's born again? Even though you preach the word of God to you, you will never see that. I understand you, but you say, ah, you will not see this thing. You will say, God love the world. You say, sister. Hey, I, I'm preaching to you now. In the Bible of Revelation chapter 20, verse 15, he will say for those whose name is not in the book of life. I understand the Bible. They know the Bible. Because they read the Bible, they thought they are saved, or they are, they are not saved. Because the pastors have, the, the pastors are not saved. Telling them that. They can serve God, we see. That the time we are is a time of grace. They can wear the They can wear the skirts. They can wear the sandals. They can wear the Because they keep going. They even pray and God answer them. They even speak in tongues. They even cast out demons. <laughs> Hey, when they see demon, they will say, Rapa Koalaba, you demon, get out. And the demon get out. They are the worst because they thought God is with them. 
that they are able to cast out demons, it means God is with them. They do know that they are deceiving themselves. They are deceiving themselves. Don't you understand the message Jesus Christ said to the apostles? When the apostles were saying, Hey, our Savior, Messiah, our Lord, and our God, eh? the place you send us to, we cast our demon. Ah, it's a, it's a, it's a, eh? There was a man there, we met him on the road. The man is, that is, is, a, is a dead man. And by the time we get there, we just pray for that man. And the man came back to life. And Jesus Christ said, eh, you really try you. Oh. And Jesus Christ said, eh, I truly, truly, truly. I saw Satan falling like a lightning. I saw Satan falling like a lightning. But Jesus Christ said, but listen to me, my brother. Do you cast out demons? Do you eat the sick? Do you deliver people from darkness? But listen to me. Don't be happy at this. But be rejoice. That your name is written in the book of life. It means, you know the meaning of that statement? It means somebody can cast out demon and yet it's not saved. You hear me? <laughs> it means somebody can cast out demon and yet it's not, his name is not in the Bible, in the, in, in the book of life. Sorry. You can pray and you resume in the dream and say, and the demon goes. And that does not mean that your name is in the book of life. Wait, open your Bible to Matthew chapter 7. Let's see. You will understand what I'm saying now. Your Bible to Matthew chapter 7. Verses 21 to 23. I will read. Not everyone who say to me, Lord, Lord, we have we enter the kingdom of heaven. We hear that, but only the one who does the will of my father who is in heaven. You hear that? Now, year 22. Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not did we okay? Did we not prophesy in your name? See, they were. Rabba kone bihanaba. Yes, yanaba. Thou say the Lord of hosts. The Lord said to me that thou shalt bless thee. That thou that do that, they know how to speak in tongue. They can prophesy. Prophesy, you prophet. Prophesy. Major one. Major one. Major one. Prophesy. Prophesy, Papa, prophet, prophet, prophet. He said, cannot prophesy. He said, prophesy. Cannot prove. He said, prophesy. Cannot prove, 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 prove. Prophesy. Pro, pro, pro. She like what you know. <laughs> ah, do you like what you know? He said, pro, pro, eh, pro. Cannot, cannot. He said, eh, pro, eh, pro. Major one, they can prophesy. They are able to prophesy. They are able to prophesy. Hear the word message, yo. It said, I said unto you, many shall say that what we prophesy in your name. They tell you what you eat in the dream. And you say, Yes, ah, ah, prophet, how do you know? Yes, I dream that I eat, I eat right yesterday. Ah, he said, oh, he said, hey, can I pro? I said, prophesy. He said, he said, the Lord is showing me now. He said, listen to me now. The Lord is showing me right now. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Says, yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw you, you are riding a car. He said, yes. In the April 24, he said, yes, yes. Prophet, yes, yes. He said, there was a lady beside you. He said, yes. That lady asked you for money. Yes, he asked for 2,000. Ah, yes, yes, prophet. You said... You will give him tomorrow. He said, yes, yes, prophet. He said, you will give him tomorrow. He said, yes, 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 prophet. Okay. And he said the word. And he said, I see that you, brought, you, you gave him the money. He said, prophet, yes, it's true. It is all about the lies of men. The most foolish being. 
who is the focus is that you know who your pastor is. You know his lifestyle. You see what is preaching. You look at him. You know that even the way he's standing, Jesus does not recognize. You know, his life is not promoting him. And you go ahead and listen to his message. You go ahead and go to that. You are allowing to, to pray for you and you say amen. You are one of the most foolish the Bible was talking about. One of the most foolish the Bible was talking about. And the Bible said, and many will come at my name. I said, Lord, from me, you even do us. If you are a type of person that you still follow a pastor who his life is not in accordance to the word of God, what does that mean by accordance? They tell you, the Bible tells you, they will show you where it is that worldliness is a sin. You are still there. You are still following a pastor telling you to wear your ring. You still wear trousers, or you still commit sin in the corner. If we, if you say, Apostle did not see me, what of God? Do you need to fear man? No, God is the one you're supposed to fear. For that reason, let your life be in accordance to the word of God. Let your life be in totality of God's word. Let your life be in a totality of God's work. Being a prophet does not qualify him to be, to be from God. Even Satan gives his own people how to talk. Some of, God, some of, some of, you, some of you said, ah, but that pastor has word. Whenever he's preaching like this, oh God, he's so serious. Let me tell you, even Satan, he know how to, to, to empower his people, how to speak well. You have to be a wise man. Remove yourself from somebody who is a foolish man. Foolish girl. We remove yourself. Obey the word and be saved. It is when you obey the word that you can make effort. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus, you will not regret you ever live in Jesus' name. God bless you in Jesus' name. This is where we're going to end the message today. I'm going to end the message today. So I pray the Lord will help you in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will help you in Jesus' name. Let me pray for you. I want you, Pastor, now where you are now. Confess your sin. Tell God, where have I become a fool? Where, where have I been a fool? Have mercy on me. Please have mercy on me. I'm only going to give you 30 seconds to ask God for mercy. Have mercy on me. Can you pray? Can you please pray? Have mercy on me. Where have I been a fool? Please have mercy on me. We have five being a fool. Please have mercy on me. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. Some of you are not praying. Have mercy. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. I pray for you today, according to the word of God and the manifestation of the Holy Spirit. I pray for you today. I pray for you today. I 
pray for you to be. I pray for you to be. Let the power of God and the anointing of the living God enter your life and remove you from the bondage of foolishness in Jesus' name. Every barriers of the darkness, every satanic atmosphere, every demonic atmosphere in your life, I cast you into be in Jesus' name. Amen. Every Amen. satanic power, every demonic power, every spirit of darkness, every bondage of hell, every bondage of foolishness that the enemy has put you in, I cast you them all in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Who shall it be? You are free in Jesus' name. You are free Amen. in Jesus' name. You are free in Jesus' name. Amen. You are free in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus. Mighty Amen. name, I am free. Amen. Once again, my name is Apple to Peter. Daniel. Subscribe to my channel, uh, to my YouTube channel. Uh, subscribe and like. God bless you in Jesus' name. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, man. Um, no.